is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable copy method. So let's get started. Problem solved. Y square plus xyp minus x square p square equals to zero. Solution. Given differential equation is. Given differential equation is y square plus x y p minus x square into p square equals to zero. We can rewrite as minus x square into p square plus x y p plus y square equals to zero, which is in quadratic form, right? Quadratic equation in p. So now compare. with quadratic equation or with quadratic form I can say we have ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero this is a quadratic equation right so we'll find roots using quadratic formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. If we consider quadratic equation in p, we have a p square plus b p plus c equals to 0, then p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Right? So we have p equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a right so by comparing the equation with quadratic form we get a equals to minus x square and b equals to xy and c equals to y square Then P equals to minus B. B is XY plus or minus square root of B square. XY whole square minus 4 into A into C by 2 times This is equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of xy whole square minus into minus plus 4 into x square into y square by minus 2x square. This is equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of xy whole square plus 4 into you can write this x square into y square as xy whole square okay by minus 2x square which is equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of so you are having xy whole square in both the terms right so we can take xy whole square common so we'll get xy whole square times 1 plus 4 by minus 2x square so this is equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of xy whole square into square root of 1 plus 4, 5 by minus 2 x square. Okay. You are having square root of xy whole square. Since square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2 then 
square root of x y whole square can be written as x y whole square whole to the power one by two. Okay. Also, we know that a power m whole power m equals to a power m into n. Then you can write this as x power x y power two into one by two, which is equals to x y power two by two, which is equals to x y power one, which is equals to x y. Okay. The square root of x y whole square is x y. This is equals to minus x y plus or minus x y into square root of five by minus two x square. Since you're having x y in both the terms, you can take common, right? So you get x y times minus one plus or minus root five. By minus two x square. Okay, so you can write this as minus x y times minus one plus or minus square root of five by two times x square. So this equals to no cancel x. Then you'll get minus y times Minus one plus or minus square root of five by two x. Then p equals to minus y into minus one plus square root of five by two x, and p equals to minus y minus y times minus one minus square root of five by two x. So now we are going to find solution for this and this. So let's consider p equals to minus y times minus one plus square root of five by two x. Later we'll find for p equals to minus y times minus one minus square root of five. By two x. Okay. So then p equals to y times minus into minus plus one minus into plus minus square root of five by two x. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to y by 2 into 1 minus square root of 5 by x then 1 by y or 2 by y into dy equals to 1 minus square root of 5 into 1 by x into dx so here the variables are separable right so we'll integrate on both sides then two times or two into integral one by y into dy equals to one minus square root of five into integral one by x into dx then two into integral one by y dy is log y equals to one minus square root of five into Integral 1 by x dx is log x. Since we are having two logs, so we consider constant as log c. Then, you know that m log n can be written as log n power n. Then you can write this to log y as log y square, which is equals to, likewise here also you are having m log n, right? So, you can write it as log n power m plus log c. We know that log a plus log b equals to 
log a b then log y square equals to log c into x power 1 minus square root of 5. Okay. If log a equals to log b and also we know that if log a equals to log b then a equals to b. So from this we will get y square equals to using this we will get y square equals to c into x power 1 minus square root of 5. Then y square minus c into x power 1 minus square root of 5 equals to 0. Okay. So we have solution for this. y square minus c into x power 1 minus square root of x equals to 0. Fine. Now let's find solution for the second one. P equals to minus y times minus 1 minus square root of 5 by 2x. Then P equals to y times minus into minus plus 1 minus into minus plus square root of 5 by 2x. Now put P equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to y by 2 into 1 plus square root of 5 by x. Okay. Then 2 by y into dy is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 into 1 by x into dx. So here the variables are separable. So we can integrate on both sides. In 2 into integral 1 by y dy is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 into integral 1 by x into dx. Then 2 into log y. Since integral 1 by y dy is log y equals to 1 plus square root of 5 into integral 1 by x dx is log x since we are having log okay plus consider constant as log c then you know that m log n can be written as log n power n then you can write to log y as log y square and 1 plus square root of 5 log x as log x power 1 plus square root of 5 plus log c. Okay. Then log y square is equals to, we know that log a plus log b equals to log a b. Then you can write this as log c into x power 1 plus square root of 5. Okay. And also we know that if log m equals to log n, then m equals to n. So from this we'll get y square equals to c into x power 1 plus square root of 5. Then y square minus c into x power 1 plus square root of 5 equals to 0 is the solution for p equals to minus 1 minus y times minus 1 minus square root of 5 by 2x. Okay. So the combination of these two solutions or combined form of these two solutions will be the solution, required solution for the given differential equation. Therefore, the required solution is
y square minus c x x power 1 minus root 5 into y square minus c x x c into x power 1 plus square root of 5 equals to 0. So we have seen a problem from solvable for P in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.